that's great. That's me. I'm, my name's Jason Barris. I'm with Infragistics. Uh, so let's go right into a demo. We basically have about 10 minutes up here, so I fire hose a bunch of stuff pretty quickly. What I want to touch on is how many people are doing Angular here today? All right, so when, um, when you install the OpenFin um, CLI on your machine, it actually creates this app manifest. And this is what was in the slide deck um, that Mozzie actually showed. So this stuff here is actually created automatically for you. Now, if you're doing Angular, um, there's one little trick that I want to make sure, because it took me a while to figure this out. Make sure that in your package.json, you tell it about the OpenFin types. And once you tell it to use the OpenFin types, all the IntelliSense lights up, and all these capabilities of OpenFin are actually right at your fingertips. So uh, when you are not, when you don't do this, and you're using a linter, you actually get the little squiggly line, um, and you're like, hey, what the heck's going on? So this is something that just add, it makes your life a lot easier. So now that I've actually done this, this is all I need to do. I had this app. It was already built in Angular. Um, this is using the Infragistics data grid, um, and it's integrating in with our data chart. And I just want to show you how um, the grid actually looks. So the nice thing about our Angular grid is that since it's built on Angular, it conforms with all the Angular templating and all of the Angular framework stuff. So a lot of grids, if they're not built on Angular, let's say, for example, our web component grid, we have to participate in that pipeline that Angular presents, and it takes some performance hits. So things like scrolling get affected and other things if you're not built on that native platform. So we don't necessarily suffer from that. You get the benefits of um, Angular with this product. So I have um, a little bit of OpenFin magic here as well. What I'm going to show you real quick uh, in my TypeScript is I have a bunch of columns here. I'm just showing a lot of data. But what I want to do is once this grid is loaded, I am going to communicate some data to a WPF application. So from my browser, I'm going to light up something that's actually in um, WPF. So let me scroll down here, and you'll see I've got um, some click events here. I'm using the OpenFin um, inter app communication bus just to send messages back and forth between my apps, and that's really all you need to do. I send a message to WPF, or actually to the bus, and who's ever is listening will take that message, and it'll do something. So in this case, for this application, if I go ahead and run it, I already actually have it started. There's two ways that you can do this on your dev machine if you're using OpenFin. It actually, once you build it, it'll give you an icon on your desktop, or you can use um, git bash or command line, and you can use that you know, OpenFin launch command, and it'll, it'll start up your application. So this actually right here is um, the Angular grid. It's got a lot of data. I can add some more data to this thing. And here we have a little ticker which tells you what the frequency could be on your live prices. So a lot of the financial services apps that you're going to see out there and what we do have to do with high volume, real time data scenarios. So we want to make sure that you get a lot of data into these grids and then things like performance of scrolling and editing and going back and forth isn't, um, isn't affected. So in this case, you can see here, if I scroll this grid, it's super fast, has uh, 5,000 rows, if I make this go bigger, up to like 10,000 rows, and I got real-time updates happening, I don't notice any uh, lag in the actual performance of the control, no matter how much real-time data is coming at it, no matter how many records um, I, I have in it. The nice thing about this grid as well is it's fully themable, so your branding may be different than you know a dark theme and a light theme. You can brand this any way you want, fully Material 6 compliant. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up um, an app, a WPF app. So here I've got uh, this guy here, my open fin financial chart. So part of our product as well is we have a really slick financial chart. This financial chart does a bunch of neat things out of the box for you. So let me make this a little bit bigger. I'll scroll this way and make it go this way a little bit. There we go. Like so. So, of course, things like hover tips, markers, things like that. You've got the ability to zoom in and out of the grid. We've got a nice zoom bar here on the bottom, so you can do all the interactive stuff that you'd want. If I want to modify indicators, I can add Bollinger Bands, add some uh, TRX and RSI indicators, and all this sort of flows nicely without you really having to write any code. We have different types of chart types that go with it. But in order for my OpenFin app to actually communicate with it, I added this little button here. And it's actually passing 
um, some information over to this WPF app, and it's updating the chart with that ticker data, and it's getting new data. So this is one line of code to actually pass that data through the inter-app communication bus. And my WPF app is literally unchanged. It's just subscribing to a message. It's a few lines of code. And once I get that ticker, I can update it. So this is how you can start pulling together things from your modern way of looking at an Angular app and then pushing that out into something like Windows Forms, WPF, Java. It really doesn't matter whatever your, your client side um, UIs are actually using. One other thing that we're working on now, which is actually pretty slick, is um, uh, Microsoft Excel. So we have this Excel library that allows you to generate Excel files without having Excel on the desktop. So this is really big in financial services. A lot of reporting needs to get done in Excel. Basically, every financial trader says, I want this to be work just like Excel. So you, as developers, are constantly trying to make your grids behave like Excel, and then all they want to do is take that data and then stick it into Excel and then use Excel anyway. So what we do is we say, hey, we'll give you Excel-like experiences with our grids, but we'll also give you an entire Excel library that you can use. One of the cool new features that we just added to Excel is actually around um, exporting charts. So I have an app here that's actually running. And this is uh, basically a JavaScript app, and it has a chart on the top. Um, and I'm going to click this Create File button. What this did is it actually opened up an Excel API and created an Excel sheet with the data visualization in it. And when I select the actual chart, you can see that uh, the rows and columns that make up the chart are highlighted. So what you can do is you can create an instance of a workbook, add worksheets to a workbook, add charts, add tables, add whatever you want to those workbooks without ever using ComInterop, without ever using anything that has to do with Excel on the client. And it's, um, it's literally just a few lines of code. So here I actually have a, um, an example of this. And this is the code that you would use. IG Excel is the library. Uh, we have a, uh, a chart type collection. In this case, it was a clustered column chart. And it went ahead and created that chart based on that data. So super easy um, to do something like that. So with that, my time is up. Um, I'll leave you guys with uh, one last um, bit of information about Infragistics. Uh, we have more than just um, the tooling and the widgets that go along with it. We have offices uh, everywhere around the world where you guys are at. So London, Tokyo, New York. South America, Eastern Europe. Uh, we have enterprise support. So the reason we need to be everywhere is because you guys are everywhere. So as you guys have um, branch offices and developers all over the globe, um, we're there to help you as well. Uh, the team we have here today is based out of our London office. I'm out of um, New Jersey in the US. So if you have any questions about Infragistics, want to know how we work with OpenFin, or if you're building Angular, React, any modern web apps, need high performance grids and charts, please come over and talk to us, um, so thank you very much.